Well, I've recently been in contact with the De Lacy family, and we have agreed that that villa had the markings put on after it was built, at some time afterwards. We've agreed on that. But one thing I want to tell you, when these stonemasons built these buildings, they were paid for what they did. And what the work was, they put a stonemason's mark had a, they put marks on it, so it was theirs. And these marks are uh, the same in this church, in York Minster, and also in Durham. It shows you how they, how they went around. So what we'll do, before we move down the nave, I will say this, that the first pillars are highly decorated, and you've got the great swing at the top, which is a Norman archway. As you go westwards, you'll notice a plainness coming in. This was when the, the, the Cistercian monasteries, the private monasteries in other words, not, not the ones like this one, an open monastery. And it was cheapness and it, they could do it quicker. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to motor around there and show you what a mason's mark is on that hill. Okay. See that mark? Yeah, that's it. That's a mason's mark. That was what his, his wage depended on. Huh. Now, earlier today, I told you about that uh, Norman ridge, didn't I? Yeah. yeah. I won't look your legs. So we're going to walk down the nave now. Look up at the arch carving up there. And as we go along slowly, we're going to the next intersection. Check them on both sides and you'll see that plainness coming in. No more flips, plain. All yep. plain. <coughs> Did you get that? Yeah. Right. Now then, what I'm going to say to you now. We put all the pillars in, and then you get your first walkway. Because we've got three walkways there, haven't we? The first one, that's the triforium. That's a blind walkway. And then we have the cistercian, the clerestrian, should we say. The top walkway. When they did the top walkway, they used to be able to go around the top, the monks would go around that way. But the blind walkway, nothing like that happened. I've been up on there. Now then, <coughs> you see here the great Norman sweep on these pillars, on these arches. On that side, you notice as we've come westward, you've still got the Norman. You've got little clusters of pillars mm. which have altered as you've come down. But then an amazing thing happened. We went to the Middle East on Crusades. At first, when they were building these things, they had trouble getting them to stay up in the middle. To support. When they went to the Middle East they found the pointed arch. And that came back. And that incorporated then early English architecture. And in this lucky church that we're in, that came into being, they did the Triforium on that side. But when they come to do it here, look, on the other side, 
it's not a mistake. We've got the great Norman arch and then you've got the pointed arches and some decorations come back. Okay? <laughs> then you come back, you come to do the clerestory, the top walkway. At the moment the wind is, but there used to be shooters. And when they built them, they put twice as many on the warm south as the cold north. You can count them if you like. There's more windows on that side than there is that side. So, as we go around the Abbey, you'll notice under that wall there, look, there's like a little seat, isn't there? Stone seat. Yeah. Okay. It's not all the way around. It's not all the way around. And I'll tell you why. The floor in here was never stormed. It was earth. We buried people in the church. It was earth. During the monastic days, nobody could sit down, except the abbot who was taking the service. Mm. But they had, they allowed people like me to come and sit on that bench. And that's the expression, sitting with your back to the wall. <laughs> And that's where it comes from, like a lot of things come from monastic there. Yeah. Mm. Fair enough. So, we're going to go over the other side now for a quick visit. <coughs> the old ones are coming through. Yeah. That big slab of stone there, that's the Spencer family's, one of the slabs, stone slab, funeral slab, 18, uh, 1629. Yeah. There's a pile of old stone at the side here, there, and I made them leave that there. I'll tell you what it is. Originally, when this was a monastery, that was part of the abbot's chair. That's all that's left of it through, you know, destruction of time. Yeah. <coughs> and the reason we dated that was for the type of architecture that was on it, which is quite brilliant. For many years, you can go on the top, onto that ledge, you climb up onto the ledge and have a look at the figure. And the shield, they identified it as a member of the Amerton family, and the lady at the other side was his wife. Now these ornamentations came into this church in 1300 and there was no stone floors and they were dumped under the wall in the chapel down there. In this 1916, is Salve and, 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 and the barge when I worked on the river and my name is Laurie Jones. 